In this problem, we have two mixed numbers and we're going to subtract them. So the very first step to uh, do this problem is to write these as improper fractions. So you take this three and you multiply it by the four. So three times four is 12, and then you add it to the two. So three times four is 12, 12 plus two is 14. So you get 14 over three. You do the same thing here. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. So 16 over 5. Again, 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Boom, there it is. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. Boom, there it is. And you just write it over the number on the bottom. Okay, we're almost there, except now we have to find what's called a common denominator. We can't really subtract these until um, the bottoms here are the same. So what we do is we just multiply these numbers. So three times five is equal to 15. So that's gonna be our common denominator. And so the goal now is to make the bottoms 15. So here you look at the three and you say, what's missing? Well, you're missing a five. So you multiply by five over five. And over here on the right, you have a five, so what's missing? So you're missing a three. So you multiply by 3 over 3. Good stuff. All right, 5 times 14, that's going to be 70. That's because uh, 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 4 is 20. 50 plus 20 is 70. And then 5 times 3 is 15. Now, if you're not familiar, uh, if you can't think of it that way, it's OK. You can do it the long way, or you can use the calculator. So 14 times 5, how do you do this the long way? Well, 5 times 4 is 20, and you carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5, you add, and you get 7. Boom, there it is. Here, 3 times 16 is 48, and 5 times 3 is 15. And I actually just have that one memorized. Uh, 16 times 3 is 48. If you want to see the work the long way, it would be something like this. 3 times 6 is 18, and then you, you carry the 1. And 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so 48, boom. 70 minus 48 is 22, and then we get 15. So you could leave it like this. This is called an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Um, but you could write it as a mixed fraction again. To do that, you can do the following. You ask yourself, how many times does 15 go into 22? Well, it goes into 22 one time, and what's left over? Well, 7, and that goes over 15. Boom. I hope this video has been helpful.